Part 14 of Renovating a Vintage Horizontal Twin Cylinder Steam Engine shows a couple of union nuts that are made. One end of the thread needs to be 3 8 by 32 threads per inch and the other end needs to be 1 8 BSP which is I think 3 8 by 28 threads per inch. That's the end that screws into the cylinder. This is to allow the fitting of exhaust pipes. At the moment the engine just exhausts down onto the wooden plinth which is no good at all. So with this pair of cylinder exhaust adapters fitted to each cylinder, it's time to make up the exhaust piping. I'm going to the outer part of the workshop now where I do the silver soldering. The first thing to do is to clean up the work. I'm cleaning up one end of the pieces of copper piping. This clean end is going to be then silver soldered into a union nipple which will allow me to bolt the pipe onto the fittings that I've just fitted to the engine. The silver solder that I'm using is called Silver Flow 55. I used to use Easy Flow number 2, but that's been discontinued. However, I'm still using Easy Flow number 2 flux because I have lots of it, and it works perfectly with Silver Flow 55. The flux comes as a white powder, which you mix with water to the consistency of cream, and then you apply this mixture to the part you're about to silver solder. In this case, I'm silver soldering two pieces of copper pipe to two coned unions. The coned unions are pressed onto the end, which automatically spreads the mixture between the two, and then with the help of the blow lamp, you heat up the parts. Now you don't need a massive blow lamp for this, but you do need sufficient heat. The size of the blow lamp is very relative to the size of the component being silver soldered. As you can see here, I haven't applied any silver solder yet, you have to get the part hot. And when the flux takes on a watery appearance, that's the time to just touch on the silver solder stick. If you get the heat right, the minute you touch the silver solder onto the work, it will flash around the joint by capillary action. And on this pipe, where the coned union was a little slack, you can see how the capillary action of the silver solder pulls the union nipple back into place. With the silver solder applied to the joint, the next thing to do is wait until the work cools to black and quench it in the water. This will get rid of some of the scale, but if at this stage you try and polish up the piece of copper, you'll find it hard work because it's well oxidised. So what you need to do with it is pickle it in a pickle bath. This is my pickle bath. It's a plastic dustbin partially filled with a mixture of water and some stuff called Kilrock K. Kilrock K is kettle descaler, and I believe it's some sort of formic acid. Sulfuric acid is more aggressive, but I seem to find that this does the job. However, if you wish to use your pickle bath for other purposes, such as disposal of body parts, you will really need to use sulfuric acid, because I don't think the Kilrock K will be strong enough, and even sulfuric acid, I'm told, takes quite a long time to dissolve the teeth. While the Kilrock K in the pickle bath is doing its stuff and cleaning up the copper parts, it's time, I think, to have a look at making an inlet for the steam, because this is completely missing. I'm going to make it out of a piece of quarter-inch diameter copper pipe, and I'm bending it here using a commercial pipe bender, very simple. The length of it is unimportant, because it's going to be cut in the middle and silver soldered to a T-piece. It's also going to have flanges that will allow me to bolt it to the steam chest. For the moment I can only run the engine one side at a time, and it's very encouraging, this is going to be quite a powerful engine. After approximately half an hour in the pickle bath, I cleaned up the piping and fitted it to the engine. So now it has an exhaust system that clears the baseboard. The flywheels are still a little bit wobbly, that is the last job, I'll show you what to do about those later. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful.